FBI agents are back in Porterdale this afternoon investigating the disappearance of 19-year-old Morgan Bauer. Police arrested two suspects over the weekend in California and Illinois. Investigators charged one of them with murder. This afternoon, Fox 5's Rob Dirienzo has learned there still may be a long road ahead in seeking justice. We've been seeing GBI agents come and go all day at this same property they searched the other day when they discovered items of, quote, evidentiary value. Now there have been two arrests in connection with the disappearance of Morgan Bauer. It all goes back to the couple that was last seen with Morgan. Those two people are now behind bars. Cops in Los Angeles over the weekend arrested Jonathan Alexander Warren on murder and aggravated assault charges. In Illinois, police arrested Caitlin Goble on charges of concealing a death and tampering with evidence. We don't know if it's Morgan or if it's something else that they recovered. They're not really sharing that information publicly. And of course, Morgan is still considered a missing person. 19 year old Morgan Bauer has been missing since 2016, just after she moved to Atlanta and began working at a strip club. For the last seven years, Casey McClure has helped Morgan's mom. She runs an organization advocating for women in the sex industry. McClure says in the course of their search, they even spoke with the suspects at a club. She received a tip and said, hey, there was a couple that was hanging out with your daughter and they were in Georgia at this time. And we went to that club and had an interaction with this couple. McClure said the last time Morgan was seen alive was with Warren and Goble. Caitlin was very, um, very sweet and polite and well-mannered and seemed concerned about Morgan and Alex was very frigid. Morgan's mom wasn't ready to speak on camera, instead writing on Facebook, quote, what we cannot share is speculation. Please understand legally and currently, Morgan is still considered a missing person. While we are so grateful that arrests have been made, this is an ongoing investigation. Hoping that her mother through this investigation can get some closure. And I had a good conversation with the chief of police here in Porterdale. He told me he couldn't make any public comment because the case is now in the hands of the DA's office, but he wanted to thank everybody in this community for their continued support and patience throughout the process. In Porterdale, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.